to show you, uh, you know, the, the RBI was in the news recently for RBI reserves being transferred to the government. And we saw all kinds of commentary around that. Now the RBI has done what it has to. But I want to ask you about your views on the autonomy of the RBI. As of now, inflation is moderate. Uh, your challenge and the government's challenge both is to enhance growth. Very often, the central bank's objectives and the objectives of uh, the central government are at variance. How do you perceive the crucial issue of autonomy of the Reserve Bank of India? You see, the, uh, the, the difference of opinion between the government and the monetary authority, it happens in every country because the perspectives are different. Now, when you have a difference of opinion, it is very essential that you talk to each other, you discuss with each other, you have good interaction with each other and resolve the differences or try to explain your point of view to the other. And, and that, that applies to both. I think there has to be a lot of exchange of ideas. There has to be explaining of one's position to the other side. You know, and that, I think, creates a more harmonious and healthy relationship. You cannot stop conversation with the government because eventually government is the sovereign. And uh, RBI is a part of the sovereign. You cannot, you know, RBI is not a sovereign by itself. But having said that, let me say that there is a lot of interaction between the RBI and the government. But so far as decision making is concerned, I repeat, so far as decision making is concerned, so far as the final call on any issue is concerned, I can tell you with all my confidence that they are taken by the Reserve Bank and the Reserve Bank is more than 100% autonomous in decision making. Nobody interferes in my decision making. We do have interaction with the government. With regard to the but results. But it's also, sir, about the decisions you take. Because many analysts are concerned that the government of the RBI and the RBI should not see itself as a cheerleader of the central government. Do you see yourself as an independent regulator? Or do you believe, uh, because with Urjit Patel and Raghuram Rajan, they've taken a very strong position at odds. That's a different, whole different approach. But they are concerned about the RBI now seeing itself virtually as a cheerleader of the government. See, again, I think the people, you know, the analysts uh, who say that uh, the central bank should not be a cheerleader, let me first, so first of all say that the RBI is not a cheerleader to anyone. But people who say that the central bank should not be a cheerleader of the government, I have just one question. Do you expect the central bank also to give lecture, you know, go on lecturing and abusing the government in the public domain? There will be difference of opinion. There is difference of opinion between the RBI and the government on several issues. But we do talk, and these discussions are held internally. If at the drop of the hat on certain things which government proposing is proposing to do or certain thing if government has done it, and if I have a different point of view, if I immediately rush to the media or to the newspapers and make a statement, what's it going to achieve? So therefore, it is desirable that these kind of views, this kind of narrative is internally discussed. And I can assure you that we have a lot of free and frank discussion. In fact, let me say that when you have such discussion, the central bank carries greater weight in getting things which it wants to be done. We got in the last finance bill uh, there were amendments which gave additional powers to the you know, RBI with regard to regulation of NBFCs. The regulation of the housing finance companies were uh, transferred from the NHB to the RBI because of the interconnectedness between housing finance companies, NBFCs, and the banks. So RBI has also needs the support of the government. So therefore, there has to be interaction. There has to be free interaction of views. The RBI doesn't need to be a cheerleader. The RBI also doesn't need to be you know, abusing the government if it has a different perspective on any issue. All discussions are best sorted out.